Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that ASML's EUV lithography machines. The domestic 5 nanometers system level chip was successfully taped out once, and ASML's choice was right. With the advent of the digital age, chips have successfully acted as the brain. What kind of chips can be obtained directly determines the upper limit of a country's technology, but core making is a complicated process, and no country has been able to complete it independently. The development of the semiconductor industry has always relied on the international supply chain, but since the implementation of relevant rules, the free shipment of high-end chips has been affected, and various countries no longer rely on US companies, and have started technology autonomy. Began to betray the United States. After TSMC and ASML were forced to become chess pieces, China's semiconductor industry fell into a desperate situation. Fortunately, Chinese companies did not give up and successfully completed a breakthrough in technology. China Enterprises Core Silicon has achieved a 5 nanometers system level chip. Tape out successfully, ASML's insistence is right. Chinese Enterprises complete 5 nanometers chip breakthrough. The core making process is roughly divided into three links which are R&D design, manufacturing, and packaging testing. A chip the size of a fingernail needs to go through hundreds of complicated processes before it can be officially commercialized. Due to the excessive myth of lithography machines, many people think that as long as they get this equipment, they can complete the chip manufacturing, but in fact this idea is wrong. In fact, R&D and design dominate. Huawei designed a top-level 5 nanometers chip three years ago, which also made Chinese people mistakenly believe that this link is very simple. If the first step is to fail to make progress, not many companies can afford such a high licensing fee. After this step, there is still a tape-out test. If you fail to pass this level, it means that hundreds of millions of funds will be wasted. Therefore, if domestic chips want to really rise, they must be foolproof in the design and development process. But fortunately, domestic companies have done a very good job in this regard, successfully raising their technical strength to the 5 nanometers level. According to the news from the media, Verisilicon has recently achieved a successful tape out of a 5 nanometers system chip and successfully implemented a number of 5 nanometers one stop service projects. Great Trust completed a historic breakthrough. And this chip IP authorization is actually easy to understand. In order to meet different functional requirements, a complete system-level chip often needs to integrate small chips with corresponding functions, and the realization of these functions requires separate design, and the technology of this project is IP. Since many of these small functions are common, chip manufacturers will save time and effort by purchasing IP licenses. The previous purchases basically belong to the public office structure. After the IP authorization is bought back, the manufacturer has to carry out a modular design, and this kind of isomorphic design is also difficult for ordinary manufacturers. In order to simplify the chip design, the IP authorization is also developing towards a heterogeneous era realizing the integration of different architectures in the same chip. Designing a chip is like decorating a house, 
filling it with any functions you need until you meet your own needs, and these functions naturally need to be verified. If you explain it this way, you can understand the IP stream verification. In principle, after the domestic technology rises to the 5 nanometers level, the follow-up domestic chips are destined to shine. ASML's right choice. The large-scale adoption of heterogeneous chips is mainly due to the emergence of chip technology. The integration of small chips with different functions on a large chip has become the development direction of the international chip industry. Intel updates every year. It is to invest billions of dollars in corresponding technology research and development. And the domestic technology is not bad. It is reported that domestic chip companies have designed and manufactured 4 nanometers chips through the core particle technology, but there is no corresponding official news at present. Obviously, it will take some time before the final commercial use. Presumably the reason is out. On the acquisition of lithography machines. Since the birth of Huawei's Karin chip, the development of China's semiconductor industry has attracted the attention of the whole world. It is also controlled in the 14 nanometers range. ASML's DUV lithography machine is just stuck at this node. Faced with the continuous rise of China's chip, the Netherlands faced the continuous pressure from the United States to cut off the supply, directly handed over the choice to the enterprise, and supported the practice of continuous supply. In response to this issue, a direct dialogue with the United States was formally launched. SMIC's continuous expansion of 28 nanometers production capacity has also brought a lot of orders to ASML. After EUV lithography machines were restricted from shipments, facing the decline in demand for high-end chips, it is obvious that relying on several existing customers cannot meet the business requirements. To meet the demand, we can only place the demand on the Chinese market. ASML has stated many times, I will not give up the Chinese market. Now it seems that this tough American approach is really right. Even if the domestic lithography machine is born, in the face of huge market demand, ASML can still dominance. What do you think about that? Thank you for your watching.